this is Mucha from Matrix Global Media and what I'm going to show you now was the absolute and ultimate game changer for me when it came to how I saw regarded Facebook and really have since looked at Facebook you know I, mean, I fell into that trap that everybody else did where it was just sort of saying oh look it's a time waster or you know, it's just for kids you know other people who haven't got a life you know and so on and so forth but for a business this is hugely powerful but as I've probably mentioned before and I'm gonna say it again it all boils behind the advertising side of Facebook does that mean you need to go ahead and spend a whopping amount of money on Facebook absolutely not but what it does mean is that if you warm to the idea that by using uh, the tools available via Facebook's advertising and a lot of the time it's only going to be research um, you will really be in very good shape now as far as the actual setting up of an ad itself I'm not going to spend any time on that at all we can do that another time but what I want to show you in this situation is a bit of the research side of it so here we go now I am on uh, my small business fan page advertising template am I going to be doing any advertising no I'm not but you know I've set something up where I can actually just show you via the research uh, the way to move forward on this okay so the first thing as you can see here is that when it comes to the targeting this is key um, it's uh, got the default of United States at the moment and what it does then in effect is it just tells you how many people are in the USA aged 18 years or older on Facebook and here it tells you 137 million people all right over th 137 million are on Facebook so what we can begin to do now is begin to look here we start looking at interests now this is the first mindset that you need to look at and be uh, aware of when we as small businesses start looking at the interests, what we're trying to find out is who is interested in what we have to offer is there a little angle which which we can sort of begin to uh, tap into um, this target audience so that when we are sort of putting our products our services ourselves uh, in front of them there's already an interest in what we're doing so let's just for the moment go ahead and say precise interest and as most of you or some of you may know I'm, I'm actually a queen golfer so I'm just gonna put golf in there okay so immediately if you look a bit further down in this drop box you'll begin to see all the different uh, golf related words that there might be so if I move this over and I go golf a uh, golf training Academy or if I go golf B golf ball golf breaks golf bowling so let me go ahead and put golf breaks in there so if you look at the top right hand side here it says there are 320 people in the states who have registered an interest in golf breaks now that to me is far too broad okay this is where we want to sort of start looking at things like you know if they like golf golf in Ireland golf in South Africa so on and so forth so let's go back here and let's just find the word golf again and let's keep it ultra broad and then we can see what sort of numbers come through as far as people in the USA that enjoy golf so it's just calculating it up here and this will give us a real indication then as to how we segment our advertising spend uh, how we decide to sort of go after certain target audiences just over a million people now this means in effect if we wanted to create an advert on Facebook and we move down a bit further here and it will list the price that we can bid in a pay-per-click capacity so it says it starts at 71 pence per click now I haven't been into the Google AdWords interface recently but I guarantee you if we went ahead and we wanted to bid for golf in Google AdWords there wouldn't be a whole lot of change out of about five pounds I'm pretty sure of that but you know it'll be worth double checking anyway so this means if we were to run an advert in Facebook for golf we, 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 we could go ahead we could create the advert put the, the the image there that's previewing it we could go ahead and write then that will be in front of one million four hundred and five 
880 people every time they log on to Facebook it will be on the right hand side there an advert which you know I could target anyway so let's get a little bit more specific on what we were talking about with the first email which in effect was I was uh, putting in my entry my entry for is Facebook for me as a wedding destination if we remember correctly so what we're doing now is we're going back to the United Kingdom we want to sort of find out how many people in the UK are let me take this out of the way because it was looking how many in the UK like have registered golf and there is 186,800 anyway let's take that out so now what it's going to do it's just going to calculate how many people in the UK aged 18 or older are on Facebook so that's going to come up in a moment now what I'm going to do in the meantime is I want to go ahead and look uh, at there we are just over 25 million people these are serious numbers here this is where it gets really interesting I'm gonna budge down here now and as you can see over here it says how many are out of that 25 million 922 to 280 how many are engaged to be married not married or in a relationship but engaged so we're going to go ahead and we're going to click how many people in the United Kingdom are on Facebook and are engaged to be married. It doesn't say any dates, it doesn't say sort of, right, 1,301,300 people have gone onto Facebook and listed the fact that they are engaged to be married. So if all of a sudden, not only if you're a wedding uh, venue, but if you drive, you know, the, the, the wedding cars, if you are in the travel industry and you do honeymoons, if you're in the wedding dressmaking industry, you know, you get the message. You can begin to find out all this information. This is where it gets even more interesting here. So we move up here. I live in East Anglia. I'm in Ipswich. So what we're going to do now is we're going to say how many people in Ipswich are on Facebook and are engaged to be married so it's just working that out 18,180 people uh, and this we've, we've looked at cities within 80 50 miles so you know let, let's become really specific let's just say I have a property here 3580 so technically speaking you could put an advert up there your text will go there saying um, getting married soon uh, decided on your location or do you need a car to help you with your big day or getting married and you'd like a photographer this will be in front of 3,580 people who have listed the fact that they are engaged to be married. So what I'm trying to do here is just explain to you the real power of research via Facebook. You know, so many of the businesses that turn around and say, oh, you know, that doesn't work for our business or my business is different. I'll tell you, you'll be able to find an awful lot in there, you know, when you start looking at... Uh, lifestyles, wine drinkers, holiday makers, all sorts of things. So be sure, if nothing else, to come into your Facebook account, uh, set up you know your your advertising page. It's not difficult. I will do a standalone start to finish sort of video on that, but I'm I'm just trying to sort of whiz through this series of videos and keep everything relatively short, and just basically play around a little bit. See if indeed what you have to offer can be found via Facebook and then we can talk about the sort of ins and outs of setting up an advert and the one thing you need to make sure that you do if you do indeed go ahead with an advert but I hope this helps you this was massive to me and by the way if you're in uh, East Anglia and you are uh, per click you're looking at between 46 pence and 73 uh, pence per click and of course the more clicks that that are made via your advert the more this will go down so it could end up you get uh, each click for 15 20 25 pence so that's pretty powerful anyway I hope this video has helped you um, I'll be back in touch yet again with one more really good Facebook tip for the small business and uh, we'll speak to you soon